हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टेलीकॉम टॉक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी अनबॉक्सिंग द न्यू वन प्लस प्रोडक्ट्स नाउ वन इज द वन प्लस नॉट सी थ्री लाइट फाइव जी एंड द अदर इज द वन प्लस नॉट बर्ड्स टू बोथ ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट्स वर लॉन्च रिसेंटली एट द वन प्लस लार्जर देन लाइफ इवेंट नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द स्मार्टफोन दैट वी गॉट एंड दिस आर द ईयरबर्ड्स वन प्लस नॉट बर्ड्स टू विल कम टू दिस प्रोडक्ट अ लिटिल बिट लेटर विल स्टार्ट विद द वन प्लस नॉट सी थ्री लाइट फाइव जी एंड सी वॉट द डिवाइस इज ऑल अबाउट आई विल गिव यू माई फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन इन दिस वीडियो सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच इट टिल द एंड and also guys if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet now what are you waiting for let's go ahead For some reason I really dig the box that OnePlus has gone with this Nord C3 Lite 5G. This is actually looking really great better than the Nord 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 that was printed in the older boxes. Now let's just open the box and see where the device is. So we have got the basic things such as it will have the starter manuals and the phone cover. Basic things okay we'll just ignore this. It would also have the SIM ejector tool of course. And now here's the phone. I will just take this out. and you know it's a black variant i would have loved to see the green variant because i think that is the new color and you know i was really excited for that but no worries really you know we'll just keep this aside for the moment and and we'll see what else is there in the box there is the one plus charger this is a 67 watt charger guys and you get it inside the box so you don't have to purchase it separately and here you get the usb type c cable for the charger so this is all you get in the box we'll just keep all of this aside for now and what we'll do is we'll boot the device and i'll tell you my impressions of it so guys here is the device now you know one thing that i would like to point straight out here is that it has sort of a glass back so it will reflect everything that you can see like you can also see the tripod stand that's there okay so i, I personally don't like this sort of design on any smartphone so one plus not c2 light 5g also really did not impress me with the design because it also had a glass sort of thing and it was a silver color variant so if you haven't checked out the video for that device there's also that and there's also a review article on the website telecom talk we'll just boot the device but before that i'll show you that here's the power button i think it also has the fingerprint sensor and this is a triple camera setup you can see the led flash over it it's it's peculiar looking i mean it's it sort of stands out but uh, you know you've got the oneplus branding over here there's a 108 megapixel primary sensor which i believe is this and then there's also a 2 2 megapixels depth sensor and a macro sensor for macro photography and all there's nothing at top but when we talk about the sim tray it's at the left side of the device and here's the volume rocker so this is sort of a plastic finish okay not that great in feel but you get what you pay for the price it's it's a very affordable device at the bottom you get the type c port and is the 3.5 mm audio jack now this is again out of trend for the flagship phones but i like that they are there in the affordable phones and here is the front camera sensor this is a 16 megapixel sensor so you know you can get good selfies and great video calling experience out of it let's just go ahead and boot the device now guys the device has finally booted up i did not show you the booting time but it was more than i believe uh, 7 to 8 minutes so make sure whenever you're trying to boot this device it's it's actually pretty slow so you take out your time and you're free then on only boot out this device and uh, if you see it's got the basic oxygen os 13.1 Oxygen OS 13.1 is based on the Android 13. I really like the fact that this is running on Android 13, not on Android 12, which many affordable devices are doing still at this point of time. And right now we are, you know, going to soon see Android 14 in the coming months. So I actually genuinely believe that Android 13 was the right way to go. Now I've not signed in my Google ID, but you can do it as well while you're setting up the device. There is of course dark mode as well as the light mode for this smartphone, and you you get all the basic things that you see in Oven Plus. smartphone you see the basic settings you see everything that android 13 has to offer and then you know you have the camera app at the bottom again like i told you it has an 108 megapixel primary sensor and 2 2 megapixel depth as well as macro sensors here you've got the 16 megapixel front camera sensor the device is actually you know still setting up it's still downloading apps and still updating apps and and that's fine you know we'll just go and check what all you get in terms of battery and all so you know if you just go to the about device section you can get all the details you want here you've got the qualcomm snapdragon 695 5g soc so it is a 5g supportive device i've got the 256 gb variant now there are two for this 8 gb plus 256 and 8 gb plus 128 this is a 5000 mah battery device and you've got 67 watt fast charging support through this 
port right here and then you can see that you can also expand the RAM you can expand it by another 8 GB but of course you need 8 GB of free internal storage as well so I think it's it's a decent uh, device you know it's running on Android 13 like I said 108 megapixel primary sensor and uh, I'll just tell you about what it can do and what it cannot do so you know it supports 120 Hz refresh rate which is good 6.3 inch display you can see that there's a slightly thick chain over here but I don't mind that, okay? It is an affordable device. It isn't supposed to stand out for its design. It's supposed to deliver the value to the customer in terms of power against the price they are paying for it. So it is a Snapdragon 695 SoC power device. It is pretty decent, but I wouldn't say it is the most powerful smartphone in the market. I don't expect it to do heavy gaming. Otherwise, this device comes with a 6.3 inch display and it is a FSD resolution supportive LCD display. So not too great, but it supports 120Hz refresh rate. So with OnePlus, like I said, you know, it's not just about the hardware. It's also about the software experience that you get and Oxygen OS 13 does, does a really great job of giving you a very clean experience. We have already reviewed the Oxygen OS 13. You can check out its video ahead. Okay, somewhere I'll, I'll just drop the link in the description. You can check it out anytime you want. And then, you know, if we just go here, you can see all these Oxygen OS 13 features such as Omoji, this one handed mode, there's also a zen mode so this is the zen space so a few things that i would like to show you about the device is that there's a 200 percent volume mode so i think if i keep on increasing it see there it goes it's a ultra volume mode and if you keep reducing it goes down to 100 percent and you know the speciality of oxygen os 13 is it's it's very convenient for you it's made with a viewpoint of making your experience easier so you can also enlarge folders like this and then it looks very pretty you know and i think at this price range where it is selling so i'll tell you the price of the device it sells for 20000 for the 8 gb plus 128 gb variant and for the 22000 you get 8 gb plus 256 gb variant i would say if you can go for the 256 gb variant you'll never have to worry about storage and if you don't want to spend much then you can also go for the 20000 variant in terms of additional apps you know i can see that this spotify that has been downloaded there's also youtube music but it's a google app so i I wouldn't really mind. Prime Video is there. O Relax is there. I don't know what O Relax is all about. What free games is there now? I, I don't know why OnePlus went out with this. I did not see this in the flagship OnePlus phone. So OnePlus, you know, negative points to you over here. In terms of design, you know, I'm not really a very big fan of the smartphone, but it works. Okay, that is what I'll tell you. It works. If you don't want to spend much, still want the OnePlus ecosystem, it works. You can go for this device. So guys, there's nothing much that I would like to tell you about the device at this point of time. You know, there are a lot of tests that I would have to do. Overall, first impression for the smartphone is that it is pretty decent. It looks it looks okay. You know, I, I don't have too much to complain about it. But I think I would have loved it if its design was better. And I think the green color would be much better than the black color, which is very reflective, of course. And it's a fingerprint magnet, as you can see right so i'll just ask you to stay tuned to the channel because i will soon come out with a review video of the device and i'll share the unboxing video of the oneplus nord buds 2 as a separate video to ensure that you don't miss out on the oneplus nord buds 2 video and and more such videos in the future please subscribe to the channel we'll meet again soon thank you guys for tuning in bye bye